us while we scan for contraband. All right, you're good. Welcome to Neon. Keep moving, the scanners won't hurt you. You looking to get zoned? What? You think this yeah. Well, if I had a credit for every time I heard that line, I wouldn't be stuck working in this place. So, I'm guessing you're the rook that Delgado sent. Well, let me save both of us some time. Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. Are you serious? You're just gonna completely blow me off like that. I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. All right, all right, I get the point. Let's just get this over with. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm going to make this as clear as possible. You want the conduction grid tech, then you're going to have to download it from the power core of Jennerdyne's facility in the underbelly. Love the confidence, but before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. While you're inside Jennerdyne, I need you to plant a virus into their system. It's a simple side job that'll earn you some credits. I think you can handle it. Well, well, look at you. You're smarter than I thought. Jennerdyne has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks, and I want access. Here, take this micro drive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. And I suppose you're gonna head down to Jennerdyne and kick down the door? Wow, it's so simple. I can't believe I didn't think of that myself. Jennerdyne's got their place locked down tight. But, as usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. I recommend you start with Ayumi Komiko, an upper-level exec at Jennerdyne. Get your hands on her security pass, and you'll have the run of the place. The catch is that Komiko's having a little fling with Benjamin Bayou. Anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorico. Talk to the owner of the place, Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. As for dealing with Komiko herself, she's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. The rest is up to you, Rook. When you're done, come meet me at the VIP booth in the Astral Lounge so we can celebrate. Don't let Komiko push you around. She isn't as tough as she seems. I don't know what you think you heard, but maybe you should get your name check. Madame. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad part of town, buddy. I'm gonna do you a favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the disciples get you. Hey, it's your ass not mine on the line. Whole area's gone to hell. Us crate rats used to think the ebbside strikers were awful. With all the muggings and shakedowns, but... Now that they're on the ropes... Kinda wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvage's. Streets are getting bad. Real bad. Well, you'll find them at Madame Sauvage's. They're always holding auditions, as they call it. Looking for new blood. So, for being so helpful, chance for a donation. Come on, might be saving my life. What with the disciples and all. Have a heart. <laughs> Story of my life. Yeah, what? Is this important? I'm really busy right now. Let me save you some time. If you're here for a job, we're not hiring. If you're here about the conduction grid tour, we shut it down a year ago. Good. If you were, you'd be the twelfth person I've turned away this year. What a waste. Look, I'm sorry if I'm blowing up at you, but I've got a ton of problems and no time to deal with them all. I'm afraid that things aren't going terribly well around here. I don't care if I'm allowed to or not. I'm happy to get this off my chest. The conduction grid went online almost 75 years ago. And since then, we haven't developed a single groundbreaking innovation. At this point, the money we're taking in as a power utility barely covers the waste that's going on in the research and development division. You'd think that, right? The problem is that Brayson Bayou, Administrator Bayou's brother, is currently heading up the R&D division. I swear to you, the man doesn't know the first thing about power systems or electromagnetic technology. Of course there are. But so far, Brayson has suppressed most of their work through pure jealousy. Look, I'm running out of options. No one above me seems to care what's going on, but I'm willing to take a chance. I have a full report on Brayson that I want to send to Administrator Bayou, but I don't know if he can be trusted. What do you think I should do? You know what? You're absolutely right. I can't allow Brayson to run this company into the ground. Hey, look. Uh, thanks for helping me out with this. It's been on my mind for a long time. If there's anything else you need, any questions at all, feel free to ask. As long as it doesn't get me into serious trouble, ask away. Whoa. Okay, that's crossing the line. I can't discuss company matters like this. I really hope so. This isn't getting us any... You're wasting my time. Look, I don't know why you're pushing me to talk about Miss Komiko's private affairs, but I don't think it's appropriate to ask me about this right now. Uh, she's my boss. She's fine, I guess. Look, like I said, I don't want to get into serious trouble. She might be a bit tough on all of us, but... Being responsible for Neon's power grid is a very stressful position. Sometimes that stress trickles down. I've only been working here for a few years now, and she's been my boss the entire time. 
Well, the big boss is our CEO, Mr. Harada. But I've actually never met him. He lives somewhere in New Atlantis, I think. It was great speaking with you. Seems like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days. Spreading like a virus through the settled systems. They like to set up shop in old facilities, places abandoned in the colony war. That way they can strike anywhere. Yeah, but let me save you some time. Good. Look, I'm afraid that... I don't care if I'm allowed to. The conduction grid, at this point, the money. <laughs> You'd think that, right? The problem is that... I swear to you. None whatsoever. Look, I'm running out of them. I have a full report. What do you think I should... You know what? Hey, look... Uh... If there's anything else you... As long as it does... Whoa. Hmm. I can see that. Maybe... Need to think about it. Okay, listen. You didn't hear this from me, but I know she's up to something with Benjamin Bayou. He was in her office a few weeks ago, and they had some kind of shouting match. It got really heated until Bayou stormed out the door. I don't know what it was about, but I happen to know Miss Komiko keeps audio recordings of all her meetings in her safe. And before you ask, yes, I'll unlock it for you. Just don't tell anyone I helped, okay? Thanks for taking the time to talk. I don't have time for this. Talk to my secretary. Welcome. Please, make yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our members' lounge, where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. See, you just proved my point. No, no, not this again. You people should leave her alone. What do you want with her? Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I... I suppose that would be okay. Sorry about all of the threats. How about I set you up with free access to our members' lounge to make up for everything? Ayumi should already be there. Just... try not to make her angry. Don't forget to ask you to see our special menu. Hey, what can I get for you? Can't you see I'm busy, Estelle? What do you want? I've decided to accept your offer. Let's make sure this is absolutely clear. I don't want any screw-ups. I'll provide the shipment IDs, the equipment description and schematics, and in return. In return, I disable the freighter, transfer the goods, and then transport it the rest of the way for final sale. You got it. Too bad your friends back at the key don't know you're cutting them out of the deal. I wonder what they'd say if they found out. Probably the same thing your boss in the big shiny tower would say if he knew you were funneling electrical components. 
Right. Well, we don't have to worry about that because neither of them will ever find out. Right? That's right, Tuts. Let's just enjoy the credits and keep our big mouths shut, hmm? After all, it's just good business. Yeah. What do you want? Uh, you must be zoned out of your mind, because there's no way anyone sober would say something like that. The Crimson Fleet, huh? This is interesting. So tell me, what does Delgado need with my Pastor Genodyne? So, let me get this straight. You want me to sneak you into Genodyne so you can steal the only profitable piece of technology the company's come up with in decades. If you expect me to take a risk like that, then it's going to cost you some major credits. Yes, you do. Short of taking it off my dead body, which would never happen thanks to my Sioga buddies here, you don't pay, you don't get the pass. You've got yourself a deal. Here, take this pass. It should get you through the storage room entry to the facility. I'm warning you, though. Once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck. You're going to need it. Excuse me.
Oh, it's you. I was wondering how long it would take you to get down here. If you want the encryption cipher, you're welcome to it. I just don't want anyone getting hurt. No, no catch. I I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher? I it's yours. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. I think you could safely say that most of Neon would agree. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works out for him. While, I, while I've been bouncing from one job to the next, barely keeping afloat. And all the while, he laughs at me behind my back. <laughs> Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. Yeah. That would be nice. You know what? I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my turn to take control for once. The passcode for my terminal is GEM-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, I suggest you do the same. Do me a favor and don't tell my brother we talked. He, uh, wouldn't like it. you are. What kept you? I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne systems. All too well. You know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. Probably. But do you want to know why that's not going to happen? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done finesse. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. That's not how I do business. It may seem that way, but for every rival I've had thrown into the ocean, I've made two times as many legitimate deals. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. Brayson? Interesting. And here I thought my dear brother was simply a coward. Hmm. Perhaps I've misjudged Brayson. No matter. I'll deal with him soon enough. So. I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regard.
heard there's shortages over at Reliant Medical. Not great. Doc Manning better get his act together before the place shuts down. That side's a bad place for tourists these days. Glad you're back. Sorry about the whole Benjamin Bay you thing at the Astro Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? The man is priceless. You're not the least bit concerned that he found the virus and figured out where we were meeting that quickly. Must be nice to be so naive. Well, I'm glad someone's happy. Since Bayou flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jennerdine is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash, and I have no way to pay it all back. I've been fleet for the last five years. You don't have to remind me that there's risk in what we do. Look, I was hoping you'd pick up on what I was trying to ask. What the hell with it? I'll just ask. Can you cut me in for a little bit of cash you're making on this job? I mean, I did get you inside and practically hand you the data on the grid. Well, that's just great. I'm in debt laying low from Bayou and his brute squad, and now you're shutting me out? Delgado sure knows how to pick him. You know what? When you get back to the key, why don't you tell Delgado that I've had enough of his bullshit? I'm through. Hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. Oh, that's hilarious. You're a real comedian, you know that? Now get your ass to the repair bay. Go! Go! 